What's up? What's up? What's up, people? Good morning. Um, yep, it's um, a day and a half after the fight, the big fight with Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. And of course, the king has returned. Anthony Joshua has regained his titles that he should have never lost in the first place. I'm, I'm very happy for this man. Anybody who's been following me, Instagram or wherever, on Twitter knows that I'm an AJ fan, right? But what's surprising to me is the amount of shit that this man has had to deal with after the fight. Well, not really he has to deal with, but I'm seeing like a lot of people who should know better talking a lot of garbage about his, uh, his um, performance, and I want to single out one particular interview that I saw last night by Rosier, the, the, uh, the guy who used to train Danny Jacobs. And um, it, was, it was essentially saying, he was essentially calling the fight horrible. He said it was a horrible performance by both men, but he particularly stuck into Joshua. And he said Joshua didn't make himself special and didn't, um, you know, effectively didn't do nothing. He called Joshua, I, I guess you know, gave him gave him really bad reviews for the fight and I just couldn't understand why. You know, how else do you fight somebody whose only hope of winning is you giving up your height, staying in the pocket with him and trading blows? If that's the only way Andrew Ruiz could have won that fight. And Anthony Joshua did the complete opposite and took this man to school. How else do you fight somebody like Andy Ruiz? So would Rosier have told Joshua to rush in there and start training with, with Andy Ruiz? Is that what he wanted um, Joshua to do? To play to his opponent's strength? The thing is, what was curious about Joshua before, was Joshua was a tall fighter who enjoyed fighting on the inside. And he got away with it for a lot of years. He didn't on June the 1st, Right? So I'm wondering from these guys, what would you have told Joshua to do? Would you have told him to run in there and play to his opponent's strength? That's what you wanted Joshua to do? I don't know what's up with Rosier. Because he also took a lot of shots against uh, Daddy Jacobs because he compared Joshua's performance to Daddy Jacobs' performance against Canelo and says Daddy Jacobs also, you know, didn't do anything special and wasn't the Daddy Jacobs that everybody loves. So essentially saying, and you know, Anthony Joshua wasn't the same guy. Of course he wasn't the same guy. He crafted a game plan. Anthony Joshua morphed himself in months into a different fighter. Who, I mean, who could have imagined that? Not me. And I'm an AJ fan. I didn't imagine that. This man looked completely different. And people, and this guy is giving him shit. It's not only him, because I see John David Dak Jackson and all these people, just people who are trainers, just giving this guy all kinds of shit. So I'm wondering, why should, jo you know, Anthony Joshua is a very affable guy. A guy who, you know, seems to be friendly with a lot of people and all of that. But I hope he took note of all these people who are giving him shit even after he pulled off a perfect fight. Ruiz won maybe one round, two rounds maximum. Anthony Joshua pulled off a perfect fight for a fighter like that. It was rock, paper, scissors. He was the paper to Andy Ruiz's rock. So I need to know, what would, what would Rosier have trained Anthony Joshua? Thank God he's not training Anthony Joshua. Thank God he's not. Because this shit seems to be a lot of salty shit from a lot of these people. And they really, really mad that Anthony Joshua won this fight. They are annoyed. I would think people who, who know boxing would be celebrating seeing a man actually embrace his strength, change his complete fighting style, and negate somebody for 12 rounds. And it wasn't even a boring fight. It wasn't a negative fight. It wasn't a boring fight. Did they miss Anthony Joshua? Hitting him with the right straights. Did they miss Anthony Joshua? You know, faking jabs, hitting him with the left hook. They missed all that? What is happening? What's up with these people? Man, congratulations to the, to the king 
Anthony Joshua. Um, everybody else right now has to bow down to this man again. I look forward to see what he's gonna do in his in, in the future because he seems even more focused than ever. But I need to know what would these trainers who are giving this man shit? These are the same people who had nothing to say about Deontay Wilder getting beat to shit, beat around the, the ring by an old Luis Ortiz. Beat to shit. Deontay Wilder didn't move around. He got beat around the ring. But the old man faded and he caught him with the right straight. Okay, cool. 